Hey guys, Rob with AIM. We just wanted to discuss uh, in, with the AIM company, what we do is we break swimming down into four dominoes, okay? Domino number one that we're going to talk about today is the law of hydrodynamics. And to not complicate things, just keep everything top line, what I want you to be able to do is take this information and take it and apply it to the pool immediately. The one thing, one of the biggest frustrations we hear with new swimmers as well as experienced swimmers is that they don't go anywhere in the water. It feels like the harder they try, the slower they go, okay? Simply put, that's the law of hydrodynamics working against you, okay? When you're out running or when you're out on the bike, we, we're very familiar with the law of aerodynamics, uh, especially on the bicycle, but when we get in the water, we tend to forget that there's a, an incredible density factor associated with water. For example, to double your speed in the water takes eight times the amount of energy. Okay? Well, why does that happen? Well, the water never leaves your body. In an aerodynamic position, you can get streamlined and you can cut down on the frontal drag. That makes sense, whether you associate it with a bicycle, an automobile, whatever it is. Okay? However, when we get in the water, most of the time we tend to forget that there is a law of physics that's associated with it, and that's what we want to talk about today. The very first thing that you have to understand, and I want you to go to the pool, and I want you to try this, and that is I want you to push off the wall but I want you to keep your hands by your side. And I just simply want you to push off the wall, glide until you stop moving, and then stand up. And then I want you to look to the left or the right of the pool, and I want you to observe where you're at. You're going to go back to the wall. Second time you push off, push off with the same amount of effort, except this time I want you to get your shoulders up by your ears, get your fingertips together, push off, and just simply glide. All right? And notice how much further you go. Now, here's the good news, bad news. The taller you are in the water, the further you're going to glide. The shorter you are in the water, the less distance you're going to travel. Well, if you're already close to six feet tall, that's great. You add another three feet of your arms, you're nearly nine feet tall. Where it becomes detrimental is if you get around the five foot, five foot five mark, you're already starting at a deficit in the water. So you staying tall in the water is the number one thing you need to think about in regards to improving your hydrodynamics. We're going to use that word a lot. Okay? So when you go to the pool, if you want to see the law of physics in play, Push off the wall with your hands here. Do it again with your hands over your head. Notice the difference. When we get to the end of this series, we're going to start to get you to understand that it's not a matter of how hard you swim. It's about how much you can reduce your frontal resistance, how tall you can stay in the water, and actually start to use the law of physics to your advantage instead of the law of physics working against you. So give that first uh, illustration a try. And until next time, thanks for watching.